Hello farmers and welcome back to Western Australia. Just taking a morning swim before we get to today's work in the month of February. I've been working a little bit, checking out on, of course, the production buildings. I fed Twister and, of course, took care of the wool, uh, put that in the storage and gave the sheep a couple of bales of hay. But you know what? You know, as much as it's fun it is to have a morning swim, um, we need to get to work because, uh, yeah, we got we got some harvesting to do today. I actually already got the John Deere harvester down here, so we're going to jump in. And actually, both uh, fields of sorghum and that is wheat. Is it not wheat over there? I think it's wheat. Uh, They're both ready for harvest, but I think I'm going to do the sorghum field first just because, oh, the pH value in this field is, well, it's okay. It's not bad. It's okay. So the yield's going to be down. Well, still 138 per, wait, 133% out of 125, so that's still, oh, it was 138 there for a little bit. Yes, it is, 138. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and get ourselves a worker in this uh, beautiful sorghum field that we have here. Not to get it confused with our neighbor's sorghum field. Um, they have one too, uh, but I think ours might be in better condition, but doesn't matter. So, let's get ourselves, like I said, a worker, and uh, we can get started on the day. All right, on over to here. And the one thing I realized I did not do, and that is give myself some fuel before I came down here. Uh, that was a mistake. So I may, I may actually have to lease the uh, Thunder Creek trailer once again. So if I do, it's not that big of a deal anymore. Uh, yes, workers. Okay, job course play and oh you want to do the entire field again huh uh there's a way sometimes to get it out of that all right maybe if i switch tractors go back in all right still wants to do field number 10 18 and along with our field here we don't want to do that many fields uh, maybe if I separate the fields myself, but I don't think that's going to do it. Alright, hold on a second. Okay, only took about two more tries and it finally just accepted this field only. Uh, Alright, so let's get ourselves, like I said, a worker here. Just that general direction. Two headlands ought to be enough. No overlapping. Setup course. There we go, it's all looking good. And away we go, or away they go. So one of the Franks will be going ahead and harvesting the sorghum. Uh, so yes, we did get enough money from the uh, cane, uh, or, or sorry, sugar cane. No, not sugar cane, cane juice. <laughs> yeah, the cane juice from our sugar factories. So we can come in here to the forage harvesters. And the, the headers for them anyways and scroll all the way down got to find the one make sure it's for the one for sugarcane and we want to go ahead and click on that uh don't really want to change actually i do want to change because it's set for the crone green we got a ourselves a john deere so we want that and john deere yellow that's good and we'll buy that perfect all right so now if we go over here to the store Let's get our 9800i John Deere Forge Harvester. We'll get our wonderful header that can do sugarcane on here. So I think this is one of the first things when I came to Western Australia from American Falls. I think we came from American Falls to here. So this was this was like one of the first items like this is what we're shooting for. This is what we're going to get. And it's basically the last big key item that we're buying here. <laughs> in Farming Simulator 22. Yes, the, the forage harvester to do sugar cane. Uh, Hudson would be proud to finally have one on the farm. Uh, but when we harvest the sugar cane in a couple months, we want to lease it. Of course, we'll have it. And, uh, you know, in the future, if Hudson wants to mow grass with this or whatever, well, he can lease or buy the headers as needed. So we'll bring this back. So, yeah, so this month here, February, we got the sorghum field we got to get harvested. Uh, the wheat field needs to be harvested i guess we can do them both in the same month weather is looking pretty good uh financially we're doing very well we have no loans so we don't have to worry about that so any money that we earn 
moving forward, we can just store up. And maybe on the last episode, maybe, like I said, we'll just take whatever money we have and maybe buy some land. Not that I'll do anything with it, but we'll just spend it or we'll just, uh, maybe we'll just uh, leave the money in the bank account and uh, Hudson can show up and just be like, oh, wow, I got money to play with. And he can do with it what he wants. So let me get back this, uh, this back to the farm yard. I gotta grab the truck. And we, of course, we need a grain trailer. We gotta get down to that field where they're working. And of course, we're gonna help the combine unload now and then. So I shall see you in just a moment. Well, didn't even get back to the farm yard and the combine's already full. So 24,000 liters, liters of sorghum is waiting to be unloaded. Uh, the grain trailer is still, or, uh, still on the truck from last time. So the forage harvester and header is going to be parked into the big shed here, which, you know, maybe I could use another big shed around here because we are getting kind of uh, clustered in here. May not look like so, but going to the harvester that we are using needs to be parked in there. These trailers and the truck should be parked in there as well. A whole bunch of stuff. All right, I, I, I did check on the orchards and the greenhouses, and they're still okay on compost. But uh, I would like to, you know, at some point get a free moment, maybe we will today, to start filling those back up so I can play with my toy. The wheel loader, uh, the overpriced wheel loader that we just used for the compost. But uh, job number one is getting back on down to the combine and getting that unloaded. Uh, I am thinking maybe with the money that I have right now, how much is that Thunder Creek fuel trailer? Because honestly... You know, I expect Hudson is going to want to expand once he's here. So getting ourselves the uh, fuel trailer is not a bad purchase. And uh, definitely going to be needed probably today. I'm guessing our combine is going to chew through that fuel. Uh, we'll have a look as the sorghum is getting unloaded. Now it looks like the combine made it maybe almost halfway around. And the worker is going to start taking off once we start unloading here, I think. Beautiful. I actually love harvesting sorghum. I think it's actually because the color of the grain that we get from sorghum. I think it's just, uh, for some reason, it's kind of appealing to me. Don't know why. Yes, I'm odd like that. But most of you already know that. I mean, look at the colors I choose for my vehicle sometimes. We go on the crazy side of things. So, kind of hard to check the price on the Trail Creek, or Thunder, sorry, Thunder Creek fuel trailer as I'm unloading on the go. But once we get the combine just about empty, we'll have a look here. I'll have to drive the uh, fuel trailer back to the farmyard to fill up with diesel fuel because the tanks down at the store, they are empty. And I don't know if I get a better price from my fuel uh, pumps or if I were to buy the fuel down here. It might be the same price, I have no idea. All right, so I know the capacity in the John Deere is like 24,000, but... Since we're unloading on the go, we'll wait until we get to about 30,000. All right. We're going to say that's pretty good for now. Yep, that's going to be good enough for now. Uh, so, miscellaneous. Actually, I think it's showing it right there. Oh, that's uh, 29,500. Okay, so it seems like the theme lately for me is uh, being short by a couple thousand dollars. Um, if I were to change color, it's a thousand dollars. All right. Uh, maybe orange would be the color. That way people see it. You don't want people running it into your fuel container. It does hold 3,750 liters of fuel. So we're going to have to wait a little bit for some money to come in. So that's not that big of a deal. All right, so another job I need to be doing, and maybe now is a good time to... Let's go ahead and we'll uncover, uncover our compost here. And how much do I have? I don't remember how many liters of compost we have. I'm still reading. Oh, I got the. I'm looking at the wrong one. I kept looking down like 30,000 liters. That's how much food we got for the chickens because the chicken and duck pen 
actually uh, comes over this far. So 158,000 liters. So that's actually a good number, meaning plenty. So we're going to go ahead and do the greenhouses first. Because they are right here. And like I said, the orchards are doing fine. They're even doing fine on the liquid fertilizer. Also, we got, do have two containers for liquid fertilizer for the orchards. I'm surprised that uh, because when I bought them, it was a while ago. I thought I was going to go through them a lot faster than what we are, but yeah, it's not really happening. We do have a few more months to go before the orchards shut down. The orchards don't shut down till uh, fall. So that would be April. So yeah, a few more months to go. So yeah, we are now less than two weeks away from Farming Simulator 25. I've been seeing the comments come in. A lot of people are anxious to go ahead and... Uh, wait, is that full? Yeah, that might be full. I spilled some on the front, didn't even notice uh, some people are getting anxious about Farming Simulator 25 coming. I'm excited and also at the same time a little bit worried that maybe it's not going to be as good as I hope it would be or it will be. I mean, there are some interesting new features coming to the game. Uh, but how long are those new features going to... I mean, are we going to look at it and be like... It, yeah, it's interesting for like the first few weeks and then be like, um... Not so interesting after all. I mean, we look, we can look at 22 as an example. Grapes and olives, which... I would say probably 95% of the community is like... At first was like, oh, this is great. And then quickly went to... Yeah, you know what? Don't really like doing that kind of work. Not, not for the money that we earn for doing it, that's for sure. That's why I went back to it a little bit in Tuscany, trying to figure out, like, okay, am I going to like it or not? Uh, revisiting the grapes again. And at first it was like, oh yeah, this is kind of good. But then again, I was using coarse play to help us out on the orchards. And after a few seasons, I was like, I'm kind of overdoing the grapes again. Alright, uh, Combine is ready to be unloaded, but let me go ahead and make sure this greenhouse, I think this bucket right here will top it off. And I think uh, that is full now as well. Let me just double check on the greenhouses here. Let's scroll on down. Where are we here? Uh, let's see. It should be this greenhouse. Uh, compost. Yep, that one's full. And that one is full also. Uh, let me shut that off. And now let's tab through our vehicles. Where is it? Uh, kind of at the starting point. So I'm going to fast forward time just a little bit. I want to get to the top of the hour. So we're looking for a couple thousand dollars. And uh, we got some, but not quite a couple thousand dollars. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to get the Thunder Creek fuel trailer. Because like I said, the you saw the fuel in the combine. It was down to about maybe a quarter, a third to a quarter of a tank of fuel left. And I really don't want to drive it back all the way to the farmyard to top it off of fuel. I'd rather do, you know, get the Thunder Creek fuel trailer and just do that. Uh, I wonder if I got anything I could be selling today to get us the money. We'll double check here in a little while because uh, we got to unload on the go and it looks like our worker just repaired either the combine or the header probably should scroll back so we can actually see the combine getting unloaded
Yeah, so I think including this episode, we're down like the last five episodes or six episodes. Or uh, when we get to the end of winter. Whatever comes first. Either way, we will get to July, the month of July. That'll be middle of winter for Australia to where we can sell... I think it's going to be the tableware production is what we're going to be selling. I could sell it beforehand, but we will get to that time. Uh, it's just a matter of, I mean, if I get there, you know, before November 12th, then we'll wrap up Western Australia. Uh, as I mentioned in yesterday's episode of Mythical Woods, which those videos will probably be, for me, be shorter. You know, they could be like 20 to 30 minutes long in Mythical Woods. Because I really don't have much in Mythical Woods to do because we got the production buildings in the live stream which were overpowered and mythical woods really was just a filler to farming simulator 25 so yeah probably just short videos there and here yeah we just wanted to get to the end of this season i'm happy the way western australia turned out uh from coming here ideas changed a little bit from episode one to whatever episode we're on now <laughs> i don't know what episode we're on now uh yeah some 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 plans have changed, but overall, where we where we sit, we got a good amount of fields. I don't think I bought as many fields as I thought I would. Uh, the di dynamic field price mod, or the, the prices haven't fallen into our favor as much. But in uh, the beginning, we got lucky with I think two fields, where the discount was pretty good. So it's hard to complain when you get a discount one field and, you know, you can't, you can't always have everything go your way. And that's the one thing I'm going to be excited about Farming Simulator 25, seeing some things that maybe they haven't announced yet or maybe we'll find out things when 25 does come out. Are we going to have dynamic field prices in 25 for property, depending on the state of the field, being, you know, barren, uh, a growing crop, a harvestable crop. You know, if it's well fertilized, is that going to be worth more than a crop that's not fertilized? Is that going to be part of it, which I think would be kind of cool. I do know, and I have looked at it, but I think I mentioned yesterday's episode of Mythical Woods as well. Uh, animal pastures, where they're going to be able to graze, which has been a mod in Farming Simulator back to 17? If not 17, definitely 19, of course, 22. So, yeah, that should be kind of interesting. Uh, all right, so I think we're done here for a little bit. Uh, let's get back into the wheel loader here. And I just want to pick up the mess that's here. And I will dump some of this into one of the orchards. Uh, the grass field is ready today. Well, I think that was actually ready last time as well. I think my bucket stuck there. Uh, but as I mentioned on the grass field, uh, we will make hay with that if I get to it. I'm more concerned about just getting the fields harvested. But, I mean, I could just set a worker off in the big crone M and put the tether behind it and tether the grass at least. See, let's sneak on through these trees. Oh, it looks like I uh, put some compost behind the bend here. Last time I was filling it up. All right, let me go ahead. We're just going to put this right here. That'll remind me that I'm doing the compost. Let's see what I got I could be selling today. Um, maybe I should just sell the green peppers because the green peppers are backed up. So I'm guessing if I were to look here, we are full of green peppers. We're full of onions. Even the fruit we are just about full of. I'm full of everything and, and other stuff. Uh, <laughs> uh, you name it. Uh, so, so what did I say? Onions and green peppers. Let's go to onions. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to put that on selling. And green peppers, we are going to put that on... Oh, no, I want that active. Sorry. Need to be there. And we'll put that on selling. 
And we'll, we should get 90%, but after Mythical Woods on the live stream, if you were there, you know what I'm talking about. Not sure if I'm getting 90% or not on that. So uh, it is what it is. Actually, let me turn back on... I'll activate the onions again there since they're on direct selling. Uh, same here. So onions here, we will put that on selling and green peppers. We'll put that on selling. And once they do sell the first time, then I can go back and I can re, uh, put that back on distributing. So we're all set there. Um, as for the sugar, yeah, we are getting low on the sugar cane, but then that may actually get us to harvest, which I'm kind of surprised that it's going to. Uh, so yeah, we'll have to uh, wait and see. Uh, meanwhile, where are we here? Combine's going to be just about full again. So I need to go unload that and then probably head back to the farm because that's going to put me over 100,000 liters in the trailer. And yeah, by the time I go unload it and come back on down, the combine might be full once again. Well, 103,000 liters of sorghum is what I'm coming back with. I thought about topping off the chickens with the sorghum, but the sorghum is definitely worth more than wheat or barley. I got to see what I got in storage because I don't quite remember what we have here. Uh, let's go to here. So we do got barley. We do got some oats. and We do got already some sorghum in storage. Um, but yeah, barley is definitely better to feed to the birds because at best price that's 378 and sorghum is 524. I wouldn't mind giving the birds sorghum if it meant more food in their feed trough, but it's one for one. So you're better off just giving the birds barley at that point. So we're going to dump this in here. And they'll be all good. Uh, so while we're waiting, I want to fast forward until the top of the hour once again, just because I want to get that greenhouse... Uh, was it cucumbers and uh, the onions sold? There we go. 53,000. So let me go back and there while we're unloading and I will put those back to just, uh, let's see, large greenhouse onions. We want to go to distribute again and green peppers. We want to go to distribute again and same thing for up here for the onions, not deactivate. Sorry, onions, distributing, and cucumbers, oh sorry, green peppers, distributing. That's what I did here, right? I didn't screw that up because I've done that before. Uh, yeah, we're all good. Uh, so now we do have enough money, 53000 to come back in here. And it is a Thunder Creek. There we go. Uh, Thunder Creek, I said we'll paint it orange because why not? And the rim color... I think orange and black to kind of match my truck and ATS for the Halloween season. I think so. Uh, can I do Continental or Nokian? I think Nokian uh, looks better because it's going to be, it looks like it has better grip and in the field might be uh, good for us. So 30,000. All right, we got ourselves a fuel trailer, service trailer. Well, it's not a service trailer, just a fuel trailer. So, I need to go down and grab that. Uh, might as well use the Massey Ferguson since that's already sitting at the fuel pumps. Bring it back, top it up, top it up with fuel, or fill it right up. And then uh, bring it on down to the combine, because that is going to run out of fuel, I think, before we get that harvest finished. Well, that seems to be almost perfect timing as I'm getting back to the farmyard with our fuel trailer. The combine has just run out of fuel. And I mean, just has run out of fuel as I brought you on back. So let's get this fueled up. I can't remember. I don't think I have to open up anything. I just got to pull up and it will refuel. I mean, if I wait for the entire 3,000 liters, it could take a moment. But you know what? Might as well just fill it on up. That way we're good to go. The combine probably is going to take... I have no idea... Let's see how much fuel that combine takes. Uh, if we go here, uh, does it show? That takes uh, 1,250 liters of fuel. So that'd take one third of the trailer. All right, so yeah, might as well sit here. Yeah, it's not gonna actually be as long as I thought. 
So, let this fuel on up. Or, fill up with fuel. I'm not really filling it up with... Never mind. Uh, we'll bring it down to the combine. And uh, we will top that off. I have been back down there to empty out the combine because it did have a full grain uh, tank of sorghum waiting to be unloaded. And it's got to be pretty close to needing it now as well. But, uh, yep. Yeah, in a few more minutes, I'll be back down there and we'll fuel it up. All right, let me go rescue my combine, which is out of fuel. Which, uh, in real life, might be a really bad thing because trying to prime a diesel engine to get fuel back into it can sometimes be a real pain in the you-know-what. Uh, is this going to be close enough to refuel? Whoa, what did I... I jumped right out on the header in the combine. Uh, we'll hop over here, and... There she goes. Now she's refueling. Uh, almost full of grain, and let's see, we're doing pretty darn good in the field. We're, we're, we're about 30-40% uh, done, it looks like. If I go to here, we can really see... Uh, actually, we're probably more than halfway done uh, once you get the headlands uh, all taken care of. Looks like a lot of fields are ready for harvest today. Oh yeah, we did skip a couple months. Let's, let me just have a look here. 58%, uh, anything in, in the blue. I can't afford... Well, if I take out a loan, we can afford this stuff. Uh, that field there is a million dollars with a slight discount. That field there is 900000 with a almost a 20% discount. That's actually pretty good. Uh, in the future, what are we looking like? For, how's the tableware doing? Tableware, all right. So we don't actually, I mean, a quarter of a million dollars is nice. Don't get me wrong. That is nice. Uh, but that's not really extreme amounts of money. But overall, maybe we get done harvesting, we'll have a half million dollars. Uh yeah, it's going to be kind of hard to uh, afford. What the heck was that noise? It sounded like the diesel engine was backfiring because it was low on fuel. Uh, yeah, it's going to be kind of hard to buy some land, looks like, with just getting the money that we'll earn from crops and such. And this will be like the second time this combine is kind of going the wrong direction to get unloaded. Actually, let me jump in the combine myself. And let's get rid of the worker. And we will unload into the truck. Oh, yeah, I didn't look at course play. Are we going to go around that island? Are we going to go around that island? And yes, it will. So it should be good to go all the way through. That wheat field will be harvested in this month. And after, uh, let's see, what do we got left after this? We got these two fields we're harvesting. I'm sorry, these two fields. And then that just leaves the sugar cane, right? Because we did those fields. Oh, yeah, it is February. I should be. Hang on a second. February, February, February. Canola. I should be planting canola today. Someone didn't speak up loud enough. I didn't hear you guys. Uh, canola need we got two fields that need canola planted into them so I think we'll do the smallest field today in this episode and then maybe next episode uh, we will get that wheat field harvested and then get the other canola field planted or a worker will at least but let's go ahead and we'll get ourselves a worker back on this And I'm going to move this truck over just a little bit. I don't want it to be blocking our harvester when it goes back around. And also, did I turn off the engine in the Massey Ferguson? The engine can keep on running in the truck because I'm going to be back down here very shortly, as we know. No, nope, this is running. Okay. And then let's just jump back up to here. Let's switch this over to canola. And yep, we need to top this grain tank off. And like always, I left... Well, no, it's not really that much in the way. I think we're... Well, it might be because... <laughs> The spout, uh, the shoot for this. 
comes out quite a bit far. But I think I'm going to be... Yeah, we got actually got plenty of room here. All right, so let's top it off with... Okay, why can't I... All right, it won't fill up with seed anymore. And it won't fill up with fertilizer either currently. It took a little bit, then it stopped. All right, maybe I need to get closer. All right, let me uh, get that folded in. There, now if I unfold it one more time. Now it should register for seed, I hope. All right. Maybe just get completely out of the trigger. There we go. <laughs> I think that's why with the alien gem sheds that we use on Mythical Woods, that's why he separated uh, some of um, the product that we need to buy. That way it doesn't conflict like that one does every once in a while. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but uh, can I sneak through here? I'm gonna try. There we go. Oh, I did not check. Ooh. Uh, does anything need to be soil sampled? No, nothing. Nothing currently is showing out of date. Yeah, there is a little section here, but that's where our shed is, so nothing to worry about there. All right, let's get into this field. And as you can see with this drill, yeah, it's not gonna take me that long to get it planted. And let's try not to waste any of our grass field over there. The sheep would not be happy with it. As I say that, the first thing I do is roam over to the grass field it takes me just about a minute or so to get used to driving the articulated tractor and of course with the drill being the second implement behind us but once you get a feel for it, it's not too bad and as it as I did mention a while ago I wanted to upgrade the drill but that was at the point of thinking that we would be buying more of the bigger fields because I did want to buy all the fields going down the uh, off-road that curves around to the field that we're currently harvesting. And if we did have that many fields, then definitely getting a bigger drill and, of course, a second harvest and all that would have been needed. But since we didn't make it that far, well, this drill is suffice enough to do the fields that we have. Kind of hoping I don't have to re-drill all of my fields this fall. But as I said, we're going to try to get done what we can get done before November 12th. And since uh, we got the harvest going on down there and I got to wait for it, we might as well go ahead and get these fields planted. Uh, technically, I don't have to take care of the weeds because Hudson can take care of that in the springtime with a seed and spot sprayer it'll take care of the mature weeds so that can all be done in the springtime yeah having the traffic turned off has been nice for the past three or four episodes oh, our combine needs to be unloaded so let me uh see tab 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 Tab, tab, tab. Let's keep on tabbing until we find it. 
Uh, okay, that is... Okay, so you made it around the island. Okay, I see what... See where you currently are at. I missed a section because I'm guessing the header went up on the island and picked the header too far off the ground. For it to grab the grain. Uh, that will take a second, so let me tab back over to our T9 and we'll get a little bit more work done here. And then I'll know when it's done emptying because I'm pretty sure it's going to say blocked by an object before it can continue on. So I think what I am going to do here because uh, this will take me only about a, you know five or six minutes to get this planted but I will be tabbing back and forth to the combine to get that unloaded. Uh, we'll turn on some music because music always makes the job a little bit more enjoyable. Not really going to be able to finish this field, I think, with the fertilizer I got left. So it's going to be needed to be topped off, but that's not a big deal because, well, I got to plant canola in the field next to us, so <laughs> need fertilizer for that field as well. The harvest is going along pretty good. I did get stuck with the truck and the trailer the first time I went down to unload it uh, because where the combine stopped. Uh, as you saw in the rotary area around the island, I backed up and not only did I kind of get stuck on a tree, I think I was stuck on a collectible as well, so a double whammy. So a little bit of uh, super strength is always uh, nice to have around because that uh, took care of the situation. I think we will get the rest of the sorghum harvest into the grain trailer, but it's going to be pretty close. Speaking of pretty close, uh, yeah, we're just about out of fertilizer. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and detach from the drill. And we'll come back and do this because 12 liters of fertilizer is not going to get the job done. And if I don't fertilize that little section, I'll have to do it with the spreader. And if I don't do it, it's just going to annoy me every time I check on things. Didn't even use 10% of the seed, but used 100% of the fertilizer. I would just like to see a more balanced hopper on the grain tank. The grain capacity, because if I'm not going to use 10% of the seed, but 100% fertilizer, why not uh, just make the grain, or sort of the seed tank, a little bit smaller and make the fertilizer tank a little bit bigger? But I'm sure in real life, the ratios that they have on these are pretty accurate for what they need to be. Alright, so do I want to top it off with seed while I'm here? May as well, but do I need to? No. 
All right, and then I'll back out just so when I pull back in. No, I had it. Nuts. Hit the wrong button. There we go. All right. Uh, while that's folding up, let's go down here. Uh, no, that's the that's not what I need, and I don't need the dev command either. Although, I need to start learning those dev commands for when 25 comes out. <laughs> to turn on super strength uh, and all that other, you know, how to do all the other stuff. I definitely want to cheat in money. So we can test out a lot of stuff. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to get all the grain into the trailer. Because that combine's got 24,000 liters in it right now. And I can, only, I can take 26. But by the time we get to the end of this row. It's going to harvest the extra. That. It would fill the trailer for. Ooh, we are down to $2,000 in the bank account, though. So before I plant canola in the other field... I mean, I, I could plant it next month as well. I haven't checked to see if I could sell anything, but we did sell some veggies earlier on. Don't know if we have anything that's really a good price right now for February. Yep, we have to bring the grain trailer back down to empty out the combine because we're not going to drive the combine back to unload it when the next field of harvest is just right over there. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Come on, catch back up to it. I was hoping that auger pipe would not fold back in. All right, let's bring this back to the farmyard. Combine can finish up the field. That's not a problem. It's only got uh, one, possibly two paths, but I think one more path. And then it's all set. So back to the farmyard. We'll dump off this 120,000 liters of sorghum. And then uh, we will take the T9 New Holland. We'll finish off the drilling in that field at least. Alright. Let's get that in safe keeping. So unload. Just takes a second for those grain doors to open. And we'll let that do its thing. Keep spinning around here. Needs to be unloaded. I'm guessing the combine just needed one more pass in that field. It's not that the combine's full. It's just that the job is done. So I'll empty that out in between uh, episodes. I will probably get the combine somewhat started on that wheat field. Uh, as for straw in that field, we're going to chop it up just like we did in this field here, which was oats, I think it was. We'll chop up the straw. We don't need it for anything. Got plenty of it in storage. And then uh, also get a worker started on planting canola across the way. But I'm going to run out of money. <laughs> Unless we sell something. Uh, probably could sell, I don't know. We'll have to sell a little bit of something just to get some money back in there. Because I'm, of course, going to need more fertilizer for planting in the field across the way. Going to need it for workers. Alright, so the first canola field is done. Leave that right there. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. yeah, the combine is done, and is this empty yet? It is. All right, let's head on back down. We'll actually uh, get it unloaded, so I don't forget that I need to do that, and uh, we can wrap up the episode there. So a couple things we gotta check on while we're down here, and before we wrap up the episode, uh, number one, what can I sell to get us a little bit of cash, and two. What crop needs to be put into here 
next. And hopefully it's not a crop I need to plant in the fall. Um, let me just get rid of the worker there. All right, we're all set. So, stock market page. What could I sell? Uh, we got a couple things that are looking pretty... Oh, hey, no, we're not going to sell that sugar. So, even though we just sold sugar not long ago, I could definitely sell 90,000 liters of sugar. And we can get 50,000, which is more than enough to get us by for what we need to do. Uh, all right, so in this field here, we had soybeans and then sorghum. So, if we go soybeans and then... Where's sorghum? Oop, there it is. Uh, let's see. Barley and wheat is looking okay. Really not any crop is fabulous. I mean, we got a couple that are 105%. Um, so since 105% is the best we could do, I would go with oats. Uh, the reason why I would go with oats is because that's something Hudson can plant in the springtime and I won't have to do it. So... <laughs> We are done with this field here, uh, as far as we're concerned. And yeah, we're empty of the sorghum. So now I can drive this on over and get it all set up for doing wheat. And like I said, I'll get the harvest started a little bit before next episode. So maybe get it like a third of the way done, halfway done or whatever. And I also may get the workers started on planting the canola in the other big field as well. I do realize there's small patches of sorghum still in this field, but... Um, we'll, we'll take care of that a little bit right here. We'll destroy some. And uh, <laughs> it's good to go as I drive into a cotton field as well to get to my wheat field. Uh, but yeah. Let's see. I need to bring that grain back so I can uh, unload wheat here in the future. But uh, another field done and completely done as far as we're concerned. Um, pH value and everything. Yeah. that's uh, We'll let Hudson take care of that. But anyways. Uh, yeah. If you made this far in the video and you love what you saw. Don't forget about hitting that like button. It helps out the channel and the video more than you know. And also while you're down there, that notification and subscribe button as well if you haven't done so already so you don't miss out on more content like this. But that is going to wrap it up for today. Hope that you guys enjoyed the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. I'll catch you again right here in Western Australia. But until then, have a good one.